Now the next step has to do with the number of rows, columns and rows you can have on the screen. Um, by default, they're, they're kind of small. So what we're going to do is we're going to pinch in here, just like that, I just pinched in, and I'm going to choose grid size. And let's move over here so we can see what happens. Choose grid size. Uh, grid size right now is 4 by 4. If I choose 4 by 5, notice how the icons get smaller and I get an extra row. If I choose 5 by 5, now the screen is even has more real estate for more programs. I'm going to hit apply so you can see what happened. Now, again, take a look at that. You'll notice that the icons aren't that much smaller, but it does give me more space. Look at how much more space now I have because of how the, the icons have squished down. I'm going to press and hold this time so you can see I can get into that function the same way. I'm going to choose grid, and then instead of 5 by 5, I want to do 4 by 5. I'm going to hit apply. Again, spread them out, but I have, again, more space for more things to add. I'm going to do the same thing again, press and hold, grid, and I can change it back to 4 by 4. Yep, let me do that again. 4 by 4. Let's do that one more time. Apologize for that. 4 by 4. And hit apply. So what ends up happening is the icons do change slightly in size, but you notice it's still very usable. So if you want to have more icons on the screen, just change the grid size.